Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. This video is all about fixing the issue with playing Valorant. You got the error VAN restrictions. Secure boot failure or your account does not meet the minimum requirements or unable TPM and secure boot error. So without wasting time, let's go ahead and directly proceed with the resolution. First of all, click on the start menu and type CMD. Run CMD as an administrator. Here in command prompt, you need to paste a command which I will share you in the description of this video. Copy from the description and paste right over here by pressing the Ctrl plus V key. Once pasted, hit the enter key. Now secondly is open window security. In this left pane, click on the option device security. Click on the option core isolation details. Now here, if you have turned on memory integrity, go ahead and turn it off the yes button now as it is saying this changes require you to restart your device so make sure you must restart your device after doing these two changes and then try to launch the valorant again to fix out the van restrictions error now if this failed to work out right click on start menu and choose the option run type here services.msc and hit the enter key now here press the v key to find vgc service double click to open it in startup type make it manual and under the recovery tab, you will find three options, first failure, second failure, subsequent failures. Go ahead, from the drop down list, choose the option restart the service. Once it is done, hit apply and ok button. Now go ahead, restart your PC and relaunch the game. And after launching the game, again open this services tab and open this particular properties of the VGC. As soon as you launch the game, under the service status, if you find it stopped, you need to click on the option start to make sure that when you launch the game, the VGC service must be started. Hopefully, this will fix out the issue of WAN restrictions in your Windows PC. Now, if this also failed to work out, let's proceed with the third step. Before proceeding with third step, I suggest you to make sure you must enable secure boot as well as TPM in your Windows 10 or Windows 11. I have already created a guide to enable secure boot as well as TPM. You can see right over here. I will share the link of both the videos in the description of this video. You can watch these videos to enable secure boot and TPM in your Windows 10 or Windows 11 to fix out the issue of when restrictions. Now let's proceed with the third step. In third step, you need to enable your IOMMU by entering into the BIOS menu of your PC. So to enable, you need to enter into the BIOS menu of your PC. And in order to save time, I have a guide which is right over here to enable IOMMU. I will share the link of this website also in the description of this video. What you need to do is, depending upon the type of motherboard you have, if you have an ASOS motherboard, go ahead under the advanced settings, you will find the option of IOMMU. You need to enable it right from here. For Intel platforms, again, under the control IOMMU preboot behavior, you will find the option of enable IOMMU and same for the MSI motherboards under the overclocking advanced CPU and configuration AMD CPS IOM must be enabled. So I will share this complete detail guide so that you can easily enable IOMMU by entering into the BIOS menu of your PC. Now even after enabling IOMMU you are still getting WAN restrictions secure boot failure or TPM or secure boot error, let's proceed with the next step. Click on the start menu and type CMD. Run CMD as an administrator. Now before proceeding, if you have launched Roid client or Valorant in your PC, make sure you close it. Even from system tray icon also, if you find Roid client or its services, you need to right click and choose the option exit or close so that no Roid client services are running in your system. Now type in sc delete vgc and hit the enter key now type in sc delete vg can hit the enter key again now after deleting both the services make sure to restart your pc else these commands will not fuck for you make sure to restart your pc and then open c drive program files and here you will find a folder with the name roit vanguard you need to right click on it and choose the option delete after deleting the folder, go ahead and again launch Roid client. Go ahead, login into your system. 
Now, as soon as you are logged into the Rohit client, under the value rent, you will find the option of update. Go ahead, click on the update, and this will restore all the files that we have deleted, and in turn, fix out the issue of when restrictions check your boot failure. So, as of now, this is all about it, friends. If this video works out for you, I request you to please click on subscribe button and turn on the bell notification icon to continue receiving updates from my channel. Thank you so much friends. Thank you for watching.